happens this week and as expected we're focusing on Sona and to talk a bit about this joining me from our studios in Cape Town is Brands Eye CEO JP Kloppers. JP welcome to the show thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Well, JP, it's the third year in a row that we've seen disruptions in Parliament uh, for Sona, but last night was unprecedented. What's been the response from people on social media to last night's chaos? I think comparing it to last year, there have been on average about 20% more people contributing to the conversation, so around 60,000 people speaking. Uh, what was interesting this year is actually the amount of negative sentiment towards the president has halved. And uh, while that at first glance looks like a good thing, I think when we delve deeper into the actual conversations that are happening, the other thing that happened was the positive conversation also more than half, from uh, half a percent to 0.2 percent of people speaking positively. And uh, w when we see this trend happen in uh, commercial clients, it usually means that apathy is growing. And it's a, it's a very dangerous trend to see uh, when you're trying to measure the support for a concept or a brand or a person. All right, so, t so talk to me more about this, because then that surely gives us an indication then of how people feel about the political landscape in the country. You say positive sentiments more than halved, apathy is growing. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the last year it was off the back of Nene Gates and Nkandla. Those were big topics. And so social media was alive with people expressing their disappointment uh, this year, we didn't see that same level. So it's almost like the, the expectation levels had dropped and uh, that lowered expectation was met, which is this growing apathy. And uh, I think the, it's almost like watching hope die, if you like, on social media in that. And it's across the board, every province, every city, we saw the same trend happen. Uh, everybody uh, kind of ex didn't expect much in the address and they got exactly what they expected. And I think that's, that's something which uh, our president needs to think very carefully about, is how do I, how do I reawaken people's confidence in me uh, in the address that I put out to the nation? Yeah, absolutely. So, so then let's look at the speech itself. I mean, many analysts are saying that there was no real urgency in the speech and that issues like the economy and unemployment, they weren't tackled or given real solutions that people could kind of take home and say, this is what government is going to do. So... Um, Talk to me more about a reaction uh, to the speech itself from people. Do, do they feel the same as to what analysts have been talking about? Yeah, we, we see the same. I think people are disappointed in, in what parliament should represent. I mean, some of the most reshared content is just around how uh, parliament has become all about the protests and the, and the kind of, you know, the horrible part of it, not the robust discussion part of it. And that, that, that is driving people to increasing frustration. But even that frustration, they're not even going to social media anymore to express, hence us recognizing this kind of growing trend of apathy. Um, yeah, so it's, it is a worrying time in looking at the reactions that we see across the board from South Africa. Yeah, and uh, let's look now at some of the, the notable hashtags, if I can call them that. I mean, after the speech, or especially during the speech, we heard things like biological weapons and cable ties. Did you get any notable tweets around these or other topics? Yeah, I think the most notable tweet, and certainly the one that got the most reshare, was pepper spray, violence, swearing, name-calling, screaming, cable ties, injections, and our president begins by saying, finally... Uh, which, while a, a bit comical in nature, it does, it does kind of encapsulate what a lot of people were feeling in the sentiments expressed that we saw on social media. And in the build-up to Sona, we saw a lot of talk around the SANDF. Um, did you get tweets around that? I mean, if we, we looked at last night, the securitization around uh, Parliament yeah. last night, that was also unprecedented. We did. A lot, of, a lot of confusion around why, why are, are, are forces being sent from other parts of the country, why not use uh, local law enforcement, and also why the need for such radical law enforcement around this event. What, what, what was the president expecting to happen? Uh, and, and I think it's, it's just w what we see in the narrative happening in the rest of the country is this uh, general kind of standoff, if you like, uh, yeah. between the president and uh, almost the sense that he's not listening to mm. what's really happening on the ground and hence the need to, to put those layers in between. 
And, I mean, the president wasn't the only man of the hour last night. Uh, you, you had a lot of people kind of stealing the show. Did people uh, sort of tweet about any specific person or party? And, and what was the reaction uh, to individuals? Yeah, obviously, uh, Julius Malema got a lot of exposure on social media uh, last night with, uh, with what happened with the EFF and them being forcibly removed. Uh, the, the reactions were mixed. There was actually a lot of support for him, as well as a lot of criticism around the mechanisms that they employed to try and make their point. I think ma many are, are hoping that we'd return to an era where there is robust debate, uh, but where, where that kind of debate is trying to be motivated within Parliament, and we saw it with the DA asking for a moment of silence, that e even those which are, which are good ideas and, uh, and should be uh, accepted and, and you know, a moment of silence for the people that were killed, that's a good thing to do. But even that was shut down. So just, again, showing this kind of standoff between the various parties rather than moving towards working together in a robust debate, which is what Parliament should represent. So all in all, response from last night, not positive. No, 0.2% positive. I mean, when we look at, at parliamentary debates in other parts of the world, it's not uncommon to see the actual inverse of what we're seeing here in terms of a sentiment being expressed both positively and negatively. Uh, so we, we really need to, as, as a country and as leaders within the country, think long and hard about how we're going to not just tow the party line but actually meet our citizens where they're at. And luckily social media gives us that view to measure it very accurately. Absolutely. JP, thank you so much for your time. JP Klopp is uh, CEO of Brands Eye in our studios from Cape Town. We'll take